Welcome to this Tuesday edition of TV3 News. I'm Brianna Connor. And I'm Alexia Jacobs, and today is April 12th. Well, if you've been in the last year or so, you've no doubt noticed all the signs prohibiting the transfer of firewood due to the emerald ash borer. The borer has been devastating to numerous communities throughout the country, and Westerville is no exception. The city has over 10,000 trees lining its streets, 1,300 of which were ash trees. Westerville has since removed 500 of those ash trees and plans to replace the remaining 800 as well due to the disease. Because of the hard economic impact this replacement has, Westerville has just been announced one of the 29 Ohio communities able to receive federal funds to help replace the trees. Westerville's grant will be 18750 which the city will match with its funds. The fight for cancer continues as Audubon gets ready for the Relay for Life that will be held right here on campus, May 6th and 7th. Audubon believes that Relay is a great opportunity to make a difference and invites you to join or start a team. Earlier today, I asked students why they believe Relay for Life is important. The reason I think Relay for Life is important is because it raises awareness about cancer and it raises money towards cancer research, which I think is very important. The reason I think Relay for Life is so important is because it brings Otterbein students together with the community to support a cause. I think Relay for Life is important because cancer research is important, because it affects a lot of people. Um, my grandpa actually has cancer, so we've been doing Relay for Life in Adams County for a long time. And Relay for Life brings Otterbein together, and it is really fun, and it's just a really important cause. If you are interested in joining the fight against cancer, please contact one of the student chairpersons. Their contact information can be found on the Otterbein website. Robin Vocam wrote an investigate investigation, investigative, excuse me, stories for 11 years for the Columbus Dish, this patch, <laughs> but he now, but he now is taking the skill to a whole new level. The Westerville native is set to release his first novel titled, titled Favorite Sons, detailing the life of four small town Ohio boys connected to the death of a classmate. The story is told from the perspective of a prosecutor preparing to run for Ohio Attorney General and picks up 30 years after the incident when the boys are all grown. The novel is being marketed as a legal thriller, but Volcom says it also continues an ele element of mystery and thriller. The book is due out on shelves June 1st. According to the National Education Association, it is estimated that 160,000 children miss school every day to the fear of, of attack or intimidation by other students. Audubon recognizes this problem and will be participating in the National Day of Silence on Tuesday, on Thursday, excuse me, April 14th. For this event, thousands of students nationwide take a vow of silence to raise awareness of harassment based on sexual orientation, name calling, and bullying. This event is not intended to obstruct academic or professional obligations. There are lots of ways to participate, such as being silent for the day, being silent in the hallways, the campus center, or your resident hall. You, you, <laughs> um, your day of silence, wearing your day of silence, silence button, um, which are available at the campus center. Ohio Senate Bill 5 has certainly stirred a lot of controversy throughout the state and the nation, but Representative Ann Gonzalez of Westerville says she helped make it a better bill. Gonzalez says she did not like the bill as it was introduced, but worked to push amendments to make it a positive piece of legislation for Ohioans. Gonzalez said she is most proud of her work on the amendment to allow police officers and firefighters to collective bargain for their safety equipment. Another amendment Gonzalez worked on was a provision to allow the Department of Education to con contribute 15% of standards for performance guidelines, which will replace the current seniority system. With these amendments in place, Gonzalez says she is pleased with the final Senate Bill 5 product. This week's community calendar features events around Otterbein and Westerville. 